Hi, I'm Priya Tanna. I'm the editor of Vogue India, and you're watching me on with. So the Vogue Fashion Fund has to be one of the initiatives we are most proud at, proud of at Vogue India. Um, as you're well aware, India is home to exceptional and exquisite design talent. The idea then of the Vogue Fashion Fund was to spot the talent, to spot the potential, which there is plenty of, and then to help ma marry the designers' creativity with commercial success and longevity, to provide them with a platform so that so that their voice, their creative voice, their unique imprint could stay on forever. And we're very happy and proud to have selected Anita Rora for Pero as the winner of our first Vogue Fashion Fund. In her, the judges and myself, we unanimously found a very strong voice, a very strong India imprint story, um, a very strong um, philosophy that we not only bought into but straight fell in love with. Well, the idea really is not to be different. The idea is to be honest, is to be credible. The idea is to genuinely put all our cumulative resources and might and experience that comes with having 10 of us on this board uh, into spotting a crop of great design talent, interacting with them, understanding what their challenges are, what their strengths are, what the retail scenario for them holds now and in the years to come, and then to go ahead and make a right decision based on that. Yeah, hi, I'm Rahul Misha, and you're watching me on MissMalini.com. Uh, Vogue Fashion Fund is a kind of award which uh, I would say it's really in priority list for all the designers. Even I would say I can really say the people who are who have crossed that age limit or who have become much older in the business, even they would also get tempted to participate in work fashion. It's such a prestigious thing. It is such a great thing altogether. And one more thing is that, I like when I did Vogue Fashion Fund, I realized that uh, that you know that's point of time when you start looking at even business side of it rather than just looking at creative side, where you want to see your brand five years down the line. These kind of questions they becoming they became a bit more clear. Your path, your journey, everything became a bit more clear. And you know, meeting best of people from industry, understanding how what goes into it, and jewelry itself was like amazing experience altogether. Uh, entire journey for Vogue Fashion. Fund was like amazing, and and that's what that's what make it really worthwhile, really special. Entire journey actually for me was uh, not just looking at Vogue Fashion Fund as like one small thing. I wanted to propose a new idea for the ready to wear market because West Side was involved with that. So my collection was pretty much uh, in tune with something which I can do in order to uh, create a kind of livelihood for the masses. So with the West Side in intervention, with Vogue's intervention. I want to create a 100% craft audience product for a ready to wear market, for a much larger volume. So that entire idea, I, I will say it was a small exercise but it was a kind of giant leap for my thought process. It has been amazing, like uh, I have never seen a when earlier before than this ever Financial Times talked about Indian designers. This is a huge article, I remember like my, my, my garment and my picture had all almost half the space on the entire column. It was amazing, the people from New York, from London, everywhere, they were calling. They were like five, ten scans I've got from my different friends living in different parts of the world. It was amazing. Vogue as a as a kind of the kind of service Vogue is doing to Indian fashion is tremendous. And uh, I would say just being a part of it, just understanding what goes into journey itself was a kind of winning experience for me. Ultimately, I would say uh, first of all, let me see if, if I was to do participate in all that. So I would say like most of the people they should participate. Everybody who wants to be there, the ultimate thing is not about winning or losing. It's just about doing what you really believe in. And give your best shot. Don't look at whether you're going to win or you're going to lose or, or what is going to happen. Just give your best shot and just that small little interaction which you have with the fellow people, understanding their business plans, understanding their ideas and getting little guidance from the industry people itself makes a huge thing for your brand. And when you start preparing for that, when you look at business side of your, your creative uh, business, that is where actually real winning comes from. That is where real vision comes from. So I would say like every, but one more thing, don't be in a hurry, take it slow, take it as it comes by and never feel disappointed for not even making into anything because uh, 
as I say that uh, there are few things which we recognize today really a lot, but they may never make a part of the history. But there are few things which may not be recognized today, but can become an important part of tomorrow's history.